It's July 25th. I have on the left, royal purple. The right, yeah, yeah. Is it good? Okay. On the right, I have it. Yeah. Oh, you want to put it in the video? Okay, put it in. <laughs> That's my pearl mulberry. Um, so on the right is Koyoso. So <laughs> he's blocking the sunlight. I, I need the sunlight and for the video. <laughs> okay, so you can see um, both of them, the royal purple and the koso. It looks almost the same. You can see it's very little differences. Very little. You can, to me, I can see the difference, but it's very little. The flavors just exactly the same. So let's say if I mix it up. Can you tell which one is the royal purple? Which one's the kyoso? No, no. Which one? You want to eat it? Okay, go go ahead and eat that one. No, not all. This is the kyoso. This is the kyoso. This. Hold on, let me just mix it back for you. Baby, please. To me. Me. There you go. Am I right? See, so it's when, when it's like this close, then it's almost almost the same, almost the same. So there's no real, no differences of which is better than which. If taste, productivity, growth habits, quite similar. Um, with with fruit trees, uh, you want to just find what does well in your area. <laughs> what will survive without being killed in the winter? It's really that basic. <laughs> so if you're in California, you can grow anything you want. Here in Washington, we really can't. So I would say don't be too picky. Find what you can find easily and grow that one. <laughs>